The Champions League is one of the toughest competitions in world football, which is why it's only ever been defended once in its history, a feat that Real Madrid achieved last season by beating Juventus in Cardiff and triumphing against Atletico Madrid the year before. It can be a tough competition for players to make their mark in, as they come up against the best Europe has to offer, but let's look at 5 players who had incredible Champions League debuts. First up we've got Tony Watt. Recent years haven't been too enjoyable in terms of football for Tony Watt. After a promising start to his time at Celtic, including a legendary goal, he was sent out on loan and he's becoming something of a journeyman across English and Belgian football ever since, currently playing for OH Leuven, which is home to a stellar Artois brewery if he ever fancies a booze up. At 23 years old, Watt has only been legally able to drink for 5 years and it was 5 years ago that he had the greatest night of his life. After scoring two goals from off the bench on his debut against Motherwell, hopes were exceedingly high for the 18 year old, but the best was yet to come when he made his Champions League bow against mega club Barcelona. Arriving off the bench in the 72nd minute, Watt wrote his name in Salt Lake legend despite just being a teenager. Xavi allowed a goal kick from Fraser Forster to make its way through the middle and bounce happily into the path of an alert Tony Watt, leaving him clean through on goal. A smart finish at the corner of the net sealed an unforgettable night in the club's history, with Watt's goal giving them a 2-1 victory over Barcelona, reducing famous fan Rod Stewart to tears. Up next it's Roberto Soldado. The Spanish striker's name is now met with jeers if you're a Spurs fan after his disastrous spell at White Hart Lane, but even he had a Champions League debut to remember. But no, it didn't come while he was a Tottenham player. The striker's career began at Real Madrid in the early 2000s and he moved through the ranks of Real Madrid's B team, scoring prolifically, just like he did elsewhere in La Liga when Real Madrid let him move on. Things didn't work out for Soldado in the Premier League, but he seems to be a player with a knack of impressing on a first showing. He put away a winning penalty on his debut for Spurs against Crystal Palace, bringing back memories of his Champions League debut back in 2005. Coming on in the 78th minute, the now 32 year old striker headed home at the Bernabeu to put Real Madrid 2-1 up against Olympiacos, scoring the winner on his debut in front of 62,000 fans at just 20 years old. Unfortunately for Soldado, there will be no European football this season, with new club Fenerbahce already being knocked out of the Europa League. Next we've got Diego Costa. Perhaps it's no wonder that Diego Costa elected for a self-imposed exile from Chelsea and his contractual obligations when a move to his beloved Atletico Madrid was blocked by the club. His heart clearly belongs to the team where he first tasted the glory of a league title. And although Atletico Madrid's fairy tale season was knocked off course in the famous final minutes of the 2013-14 Champions League final, things couldn't have got off to a better start in the competition for the Colchoneros' Brazilian bruiser. Picking up the ball on the halfway line, a neat combination of determined dribbling and footwork on the edge of the area allowed Costa to slot home an impressive individual goal on his Champions League debut. The second half saw Costa grab his second after a lovely first touch and snappy finish gave Atletico victory over Austria Vienna and confirmed Costa's arrival on the elite stage. The final was a sad occasion for Costa who immediately had to be substituted due to a hamstring injury but at least he'll always have that Champions League debut to remember, especially since he won't be playing in the competition this season. Up next we've got Faustino Aspria. While it may be hard to believe for the younger fan, who has just seen bad times in recent years for Newcastle, the Magpies have some great Champions League moments in their history, including their infamous 2002-2003 campaign in which they became the first team to qualify from the group stage after losing their first three games, winning three games on the bounce including an incredible 1-0 triumph over Juventus thanks to an Andy Griffin goal. Another momentous European night for the Magpies came in 1997 when they beat Barcelona 3-2 at St James's Park. That game was Tino Espria's first appearance in the Champions League, having already won the Cup Winners' Cup and UEFA Cup with Parma, and the Colombian celebrated like only he knew how, scoring a hat-trick against the Catalan Giants to give the Toon Army a famous victory, one of their biggest in the club's history. Since retirement, Espria is selling condoms and rides a horse whilst dressed as a T-Rex in one of the weirdest sentences I've said today. And finally we've got Wayne Rooney. Any young player looking to prove his doubt was wrong after a big money move early on in their career look no further than the 18 year old Wayne Rooney for guidance on how it's done. Making not just his Champions League debut but his Man United debut as well, the former and future Everton player put Fenerbahce to the sword with a textbook display of intacting intent. His first was a powerful strike from 20 yards after a neat through ball from Ruud van Nistelrooy showing off his positional awareness and pace 
The second, again struck from outside the box, was pure attacking instinct and his hat-trick goal, a flying free kick from just outside the penalty area and they left no one in doubt of his confidence and ability. These were the first three goals Wayne Rooney scored for Manchester United, who went on to become the club's record goal scorer, ending his time at Old Trafford this summer with 253 goals. So those are five incredible Champions League debuts, let us know if any we missed in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.